Uh, welcome to Just In Front of the Bookcase. Um, I didn't go to Weymouth today. I watched it on the stream, first time ever, and I would have been well cheesed off if I'd have been there. It finished Weymouth 2, Kings in Town 1. Uh, Lynn lost because they lost their discipline. Simple as that. Just go through what happened before the final little bit, the nasty bit. Um, Lynn went behind 38 minutes, cross came from the left. Archie Mayer had a bit of a flap out, I'm afraid. Knocked it not far enough away and cut poked it home from close range. About seven minutes in the second half, Adam Marriott scored. Nice ball into the area by Jarvis. Clunan rolled it across the six-yard box. Marriott clipped it home. Really good at that. Then, 75 minutes, Marriott gets into the area. He's clipped. He goes over. It's a little bit soft. Probably uh, fair in a funny sort of way that when he took the shot, it was a good height for the keeper. I think that's how we describe it. And the penalty was saved. 75 minutes. Oh, not too bad. 1-1. One, one. Six minutes later, the indiscipline. Roy and McCauley had already been booked for chatting to the ref in the first half. That's, that's silly because you're, you're carrying it for at least a half. He went marauding forward, got it to the edge of the area. He went over. Whether he went for the penalty or not, I don't know. But... As the players are coming out, he's had an altercation with one of them. One of them's left on the deck. Rory walks away, Mr Innocent. Referee went to his assistant to have a word, came back, gave Rory a second yellow. Now, when you're well in the game, and Lynn had been well in the game, you don't want with, you know, just 10, 15 minutes remaining to be under that sort of pressure. It wasn't even 10, was it? Um, so, Ian Carverhouse decides on 84 minutes he'd make a triple substitution. No great problem with that, but a minute later, across from the right is handled by Ross Barrows, one of the subs. It's one of those where his hand's sort of by his side, but the ball hits him. It's this ridiculous thing that they're attempting to ruin football with at the moment. It's a penalty. Whelan steps up 2-1. There are a couple of other bookings for Chitty Chat, and, and it's unnecessary because you're going to be losing players. They can ill afford to lose Rory McCauley. And they're going to lose him, I guess, for the FA Cup game against Notts County on Saturday. If I'm wrong on that one, I do apologise. But if it is, it must be a sickness for him. But it's it's the silliness of it. He shouldn't have done it. Um, words ought to be mentioned for Jordan Richards, who was absolutely superb. He is a player, that boy. Cameron King hasn't, to me, really shone this season just yet. But the first 15, 20 minutes of the second half, he too was absolutely excellent. Lynn, I mean, the first half didn't have too many chances. And second half, there was a lot of fluttering around the area without, you know, stone-cold chances, if you like. But they were the better side. Um, they'd have been happy enough with a 1-1 draw after two big defeats in a row. Now they're going to a big FA Cup game in the bottom three and on the back of three defeats in a row. So, sorry I bring you bad news. It's Weymouth 2, Kingsley 1. I'll speak to you on Saturday.